All right, migrations to Business Central Online. So this is uh, these are important features for people that are running um, a Dynamics product that's on-prem, be it uh, NAV or GP or uh, even SL. There's some additional functionality there. So let's talk about these features. Um, this is uh, these first four sections here are migrations from an on-prem GP system or even a cloud GP system for that matter into Business Central. So enhancements around the chart of accounts migration. Um, the next two are the ability to migrate only active customers or vendors when you're coming from an on-prem GP system. Um, and then the final one is uh, some inventory enhancements from GP again. So I get the question sort of why is this important if I'm a, a GP or a, a current BC user and I don't really care about that. Um, why it matters is that Microsoft is really getting and trying to get more users in the BC environment. And what that means is that Microsoft can really focus uh, their development resources on uh, further development, maintenance, et cetera, of Business Central and not, have it, not having um, sort of divided uh, uh, personnel issues. So getting more and more users into Business Central is gonna help the whole Business Central community. Again, uh, more enhancements, uh, more features, uh, et cetera. The last bullet there is a data migration for current Business Central um, 14 on-prem users to Business Central online. Uh, so Microsoft continues to make uh, more uh, versions available for this migration. Um, there's some work in, in getting your on-prem system uh, really synced up in terms of customizations with the cloud system, but uh, once that's done, this migration tool will then uh, move your data.